Hey now, I'm Wit, and today I'd love to introduce you to a brand producing limited quantities of handmade pieces with the finest Swiss movements, and they're doing it right here in Maryland, USA. This is the Mission Moon C1, a mechanical chronograph from the Towson Watch Company. Welcome to Watch Wit, Luxury Edition. So the Towson Watch Company is right in my backyard. They're headquartered in Baltimore, Maryland with a boutique there. And they still have a workshop in the small suburb city where they were founded, Towson, Maryland. I have this Mission Moon C1 on loan from them as a way to introduce you to the brand, not necessarily this piece. I say that because this particular reference is sold out. But if you fall in love with it here, I'll give you an option you may want to explore towards the end of the video. Yeah, so it's sold out because TWC only produces handmade limited edition pieces. So once they're gone, they're gone. And this beautiful Mission Moon chronograph with moon phase complication is one of only 100 pieces, as is the case for most of their reference numbers. The Mission Moon comes in at uh, 40 millimeters in diameter and uh, lug to lug of 49.5 millimeters, 20 millimeter for the lug width, and the thickness is 13.5 millimeters. It weighs about 93 grams on the supplied leather strap and uh, has 50 meters of water resistance. It's running a Swiss Eta Valjoux 7751, a mechanical cam operated automatic chronograph. It's got day, month, date calendar, and a moon phase indicator. Uh, 25 joules, hand winding and hacking. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, 4K movement, and uh, boasts a 54-hour power reserve, though that would depend on how frequently you're uh, operating the chronograph. For accuracy, I hand-timed this piece over 18 days, and it came in at only plus 2.9 seconds per day. Uh, the 7751 is one of the more celebrated mechanical chronograph movements. Uh, you're going to find variations of this in uh, pieces from Ball, uh, Breitling, uh, Longines, uh, Omega, Sin, etc. So Towson is sending a clear message about this timepiece just with their choice of the movement, setting expectations, if you will. Now this Gillochet dial is absolutely stunning. Look at it. It presents very subtle to the naked eye, but once you go in with a loop or macro photography, you can truly appreciate the craftsmanship and detail that it adds to this piece, handmade. Different angles and uh, light sources invite a few nuances to the dial's texture as well. The subdials are contrast from the main dial in uh, rose gold or salmon. Uh, the top subdial serving as the 30 minute uh, reading for the chronograph and it features the day and month complications in its center section. Uh, the subdial at the bottom is the 12 hour reading for the chrono and displays the moon phase complication at its top end. And that subdial at the nine spot is your 24 hour local time slave to the main handset and features the running small seconds hand as well. The date complication consists of printed numeral along the outside edge of the dial, and the date is indicated by its own pointer with a red-tipped crescent moon. Now, the entire collection of handsets uh, are done in rose gold, and, and at times, when they're all clumped together, can interfere with each other regarding legibility. But what you gain in that is an exceptionally elegant look. Uh, this thing is beautiful. Match that with the glistening arrowhead markers, and a rose gold ring around each of those subdials, and you're treated with some occasional sparkles of reflecting light. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Riot is also done in a uh, rose gold color and features a printed tachymeter scale to complement the chronograph function. There's a quick set for the date, month, and moon phase via the crown, and the day of the week has its own correction push button on the side of the case. Now, speaking of the case, it's uh, all high polish throughout, with the exception of some fine brushing just on the tops of the lugs. A uh, very intricate and uh, elegant look. Uh, there's also a coin edge feature under the fixed bezel, and that's matched on the bottom edge of the case back as well. The chrono pushers are freestanding, meaning they're not screwed down, and the miniature onion-style crown is push-pull, so those two items together is probably where we're getting the only 50 meters of water resistance. Uh, the sapphire crystal is super crisp and clear. Uh, the anti-reflective coating actually amplifies the legibility of the handset uh, as light hitting the hands and the subdials is filtered quite nicely. And uh, the exhibition case back also features sapphire crystal. So that helps with the clear viewing of that movement and its decoration and obviously your scratch resistance on that side as well. 
The leather strap is handmade in Germany. It's probably one of the nicest straps I've worn to date. The stitching's done well. The leather's soft and supple with a very even, smooth look to it. It just wears very comfortable. Uh, it's padded near the watch head end, and it tapers in width from 19.5 to 17.5 millimeters of the clasp. It features one sliding and one fixed keeper, though with an 8-inch wrist, I was at the next-to-last hole and only utilized the fixed keeper, so length may be an issue for even larger wrists. The stainless steel buckle is fairly basic and without signature, but I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, each strap also includes a deployant clasp, but mine was missing a piece to make the conversion, so I wasn't able to try out that option. So overall, the build quality is superb on this Mission Moon C1. However, the dial's a little dirtier than I would expect. Nothing you would spot with your naked eye or, you know, come across in your normal everyday use of the watch. Uh, you may or may not have spotted some of these things in my macro photography. But what I will point out is this imperfection that I found uh, on the radial part of the 6 o'clock subdial. But I think that adds to the overall charm and uniqueness of these handcrafted timepieces. This is a good thing. It truly makes your watch one of a kind. You know, I feel the same way about music. You know, sometimes a little blemish in the performance is what sets it apart and makes it feel real. And that's what I take away from this timepiece and Towson Watch Company. Uh, they're an independent American watchmaker building handcrafted pieces in limited runs. These are handmade. It doesn't get any more real than that. So if you're into luxury pieces, but you want something that not everybody's wearing, you probably want to check out TWC for a watch that's built for you. That's right. They do the final assembly after you place the order. Now that's definitely not mass produced. Okay, I mentioned in the beginning of the video an option that you may want to explore if you're digging this watch. The new Mission Moon Series 2 has just launched, and while it features a little different design and case size, there are some similarities to the dial. I'll leave a link to their website in the description section below. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Wit with so many watches, so little time.